Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight's going to be just about this motor. Um, some of you have seen this before, but we've um, made a lot of modifications. So this is a SRM motor or a traction motor. Got the mild steel in the center. Um, the rotor's mild steel as well. You can see it in there. And um, got ceramic bearings. And then this is the brand new circuit. Um, so three circuits in one. And... Uh, I sell these on my website. They're available right now. And I also have the single one if you guys didn't see um, the other night's video. So just going through this circuit, we have the three circuits. Um, we have a little pulse width modulator override for each circuit. And then these are the XT60 connectors. We have one male, one female, so you, you don't get um, confused. And then this is the PWM hookup in the middle. And um, yeah, so uh, instead of a switch, I am going to provide this with this kind of kit that um, it's a 10 amp fuse and and switch at the same time. So it's kind of neat like that. So and um, it's set up for for 12 volts. If you go to 24, it's going to be pretty powerful. Um, 12 volts runs really nice. You're about 3,300 RPMs. And um, as usual, I got black and red for input and yellow and white for output. So I have it hooked up to this capacitor. It's eight thirty-three thousands, and it's got a 20 volt trigger on it. So yeah. So like I said, these are all for sale. Um, this is they're actually on sale. I haven't discounted quite a bit since I just got them um, produced. And this motor's on discount. And then this one that I've had up for a while. Is about a hundred dollars off right now. Uh, my Bedini motor, and I have a couple of different variations of that. But um, back to this motor, let's um, let's fire it up. So this is three circuits. So turn on the pulse width modulator, and it's self-starting. So all you got to do is just turn this just a little bit, and it'll start right up. You can see the pulse width modulator. And uh, it's super, super smooth with those bearings. You just barely even hear it running. So this is full power. This is 3,300 RPMs. You can see the full waves. So, yeah, it's super smooth. So at 2 amps, uh, we could get, with this cap dump, about 16 amps every, every 2 to 3 seconds. And uh, if you load it up, it'll actually go... A little bit faster and um, what I like to do is just kind of dim it down a little bit about one amp then we load it up and uh, get that output pumping so yeah pretty cool one of my favorite motors and it's nice because there's no magnets inside because magnets are really hard to keep onto the shaft especially when it's going as fast as this thing goes um, sometimes they fly off so this is really nice that it's just a solid steel rotor don't have to worry about things coming apart like on so many other motors but um, yeah runs really smooth and um, if you guys have any questions about it you could just leave them in the comments and um, this thing could go all the way up to 10 amps and it, it really really fights you so yeah this is a 10 amp fuse just for safety yeah, that's about it. It's really a neat little motor and hope you guys check it out on my website, energy.store.